Previously, Fallout New Vegas. Following one hell of a headache, Courier 6 was brought back from the brink of death. Thanks in no small part to a Securitron named Victor and the fine folks of Good Springs, who lived up to their town's name. Now, just as suddenly as hot lead had entered the Courier's mind, so too did hundreds of questions. And asking around, the Courier found that Good Springs had its own slew of problems. And after all they'd done for him, he knew he had to do right by the small town and lend a hand. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're still here in Good Springs. We're around our uh, desiccated bodies of our recent kills after we've slain uh, the majority of the Rad Scorpion Armada. My god. It was a it was a vicious fight. It was it was intense. We used up most of our resources. Really good that we didn't uh, spend any ammo on those fucking uh, mantis men, and we just saved it all for the uh, the scorpions. We need to be uh, searching these houses. I think, huh? That seems like a good plan, right? Like especially these mailboxes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's some good stuff in here. We might do a quick uh, once through on all these houses that we can enter. Uh, see, th these ones I'm pretty sure we can't go in. Yeah. See, they're all boarded up and junk. Can't go in there. I guess there's just no one in there. I mean, Good Springs is kind of a big town. They've got a lot of houses still. Uh, still standing. Probably fine to live in, but uh, the shortage of people. Oh, look. Some agave. A Nevada agave. Agave. I don't, I don't know what that is. It looked like some sort of uh, aloe vera. Maybe that's what it is. Oh look, the other bighorner is right here. We'd only seen the first one before, but as it turns out, uh, their friend is still alive. They've survived um, the hard times of the of the war of the Rad Scorpion. Uh, this one is also locked, battered down, locked down, battered down. One or the other. All right, in here we've got a uh, got something in here worthwhile, huh? You'd think so. Oh, there's a bed. We can sleep in it scot free. That'll be pretty handy. Got some sarsaparilla, nothing, and a sensor module. Do we need that? We might need that for uh, Eddie later on. All right. Let's see. Can we go in this house? This seems like another ramshackle house. I was about to say, is there no door? Does it not have a door? That would have been pretty bad. Alright. That's the back door where we were stealing stuff from Trudy. Let's see. Nope, can't go inside that one. What about this one? Nope. Locked down. This is the merchant's house. That's Mitchell's up there. Oh, we can go inside this one. But not that one for some reason. Alright, let's see what they got. Maybe they got some steaks or something we can steal. Ugh! Man, that must be new from the uh, the texture pack. <laughs> I don't remember that! A mole rat skin? A, a mole rat hide rug? Oh damn, these fucking people are raw hide as hell! Let's see, what have they got in their fridge though? Ooh, absinthe. And iguana bits. We'll take the bits. Huh. Absinthe actually is, is alright. It gives charisma and perception. Could be useful to hold on to. More iguana stick and noodles. Pilot light we don't need. Uh, what about up here? Anything in here? Scrap electronics we might need. Let's take it. I can't quite remember what we need for Eddie. We might actually need scrap metal as well. We, we probably should have taken that other scrap metal from a while back. Oh, look, they have like a whole area over here. Where they like to... play chess on their, uh... chessboard with, uh, sarsaparilla. Oh, look! A star bottle cap already! Wow, I didn't even know there was one in here. Gosh! I completely forgot that that was in here. That there was a star cap inside, uh... anywhere around Good Springs. A bunch of ammo, always good. Ramen skin out. Well, does it give a bonus? Agility and Endurance. Do we already have something that gives us agility? 
Let's see. Perception, minus one agility. There we go, yeah. Relaxed wear. Of course, we could grab that and... Huh. Yeah, let's, let's trade. There we are. What's this? Oh, some LR rounds. I think these are for uh, lever action rifles. Oh, shit. Yoink. You can hear my, my sounds of, of theft. I actually get punished in this game for stealing. But like I said, it shouldn't be a big issue in the, in the long run. Um, why not? I'll take that. Anything else here worthwhile? I mean, there's a whole bunch of fruits. I feel like we don't need to take all that. Man, no one was home. Oh. <laughs> he didn't notice. Oh, look, meeting people. That's good. Ten speech magazine. Very good. All right. Um, let's see. We still have a few more houses we can clear out. Should we clear them out? I feel like we, um... Let's go check in with Chet, because I know there's a... I mean, can we really not shoot that fucking thing down? No, there's no way. It must just be like a... a visual effect. It's not real. It's a false bird. Alright. Yeah, we shouldn't be wasting our, our shots with our rifle, because our rifle's literally about to fall apart. Probably wasn't a good idea to pop in those uh, surplus rounds, making it go down faster. Anything good in here? No. Alright. Let's go in and say hello to Chet. Wait, what? Why am I calling him Chet? No, this is Ringo. Jesus, I've been calling him Chet for the past few times. What the hell's wrong with me? I just got Chet on the mind. Gosh. Can't get him off my fucking mind. God, Chet, you're driving me wild. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Um... <laughs> Man, we can be a fucking badass here. If you're gonna shoot, you better not miss. Man, let's be a fucking badass. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad He just start. apologizes. Let's he gets so fucking over with scary. A game of caravan. You know how to play? What? A game of caravan? <laughs> hey, I almost shot you there. Why don't I just put this gun away? You scared the shit out of me. You want to play a game of cards? <laughs> uh, what are the rules of caravan? Gosh, I, I hope I remember it's how to It's a two-player it. game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using... The goal is to yeah. create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced, and more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Ugh, fuck. Do I remember how to play? Ugh, I used to. I was really good at Caravan for a while, and I just, like, cleared everyone out of money. Hmm. Where can I find more Just cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale, too. No, let's not play. I might, uh, in between videos, I might, uh... Maybe not between this one and the next, but eventually I'll, I'll like, reacquaint myself with how to play it. Because I used to I used to know how to do it. For a while, it, it was, like, confusing as all hell. Alright, I don't have a time for the game right now. Alright. Um... Did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid you I'll shoot him? him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Hmm. Uh, what are you going to do about the Powder Gangers? Why are the Powder Gangers out to get you? Yeah, why are they out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Hmm. Um, what are you going to do about them? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. 
I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Um, you need a hired gun? I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Uh, you'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Um... You don't think I can handle myself in a fight? Nah, I'll ask around and see what I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Alright, um... But first, let's loot this place. There's good stuff in here. Uh, we don't need to be sneaking. I'm still in, uh, Morrowind mode where it doesn't tell you if you're about to steal something. But in here, there is no such concern. Let's see, flower? A sack. Brahmin steak is usually pretty good. Dirty water as well, at least early on. Man, we're getting pretty loaded up on shit, aren't we? Man, all right, we'll, we'll leave that in there. Duffel bag, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you can make your own ammo. That's why there's, like, cases and you can, like, like, dismantle ammunition down into, um, like, lead and gunpowder and, uh, the shells. Right away, gotta take that. Conductor, I don't think we need that for Eddie. Alright, and here... Oh. Yeah, I know all about that. If you played, uh... Skyrim, it's exactly like that. Or Fallout 3. Oh, look! The, um... The textures and all that are affected by the texture pack. I didn't expect that. Man, it's so much easier to open these using a keyboard and mouse, actually. I was, um... My girlfriend actually got Fallout New Vegas uh, not long ago, and that was... I was playing it with her some. And man, I fucking hate opening shit using, uh... The controller. This stuff ain't half bad. Maybe we take the caravan shotgun? I'll check this out. Oh, he's got 9mm. We could use that. Too bad he's looking this way. Can we make him look the other way? Oh, yeah. Hey, Ringo, you dingus, look over here. Shit, he's really tracking us, isn't he? Fucking eagle eye Ringo. Quick save, just in case. Nice. Dope! Alright. Let's see. So we need to go talk to the townsfolk, huh? We'll start with Sunny. And then, um... Trudy should be easy to get. Um, I think we can talk to Doc Mitchell. He's He usually helps us, uh, Scott... Oh, look at this. Can we do it again? Motherfucker. Fucking raven! Get out of here! Gosh, look, it heals up as soon as I shoot at it. Or once it flies away. Alright. Oh, where's old Pete? I mean, he's back at his house. Maybe he had a fucking cardiac arrest. Good god. Poor Pete. All those days moseying through old ruins. All the dust and debris does a number on the lungs, huh? All right, let's talk to Sunny Howdy. first. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Um. Oh, look at this. I'll have to ask her about that later. Actually, maybe we should ask about her now. I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available? Not in Good Springs, no. Oh, look. She but gave us some shit. But if you're up for shit. a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack. We should be able to say that we've If you want to take a shot at it, take these. 
Um, actually, I already cracked that safe. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Yeah, I love that that's, uh, that's an option. That's very Obsidian. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I can't remember, but uh, this is developed by Obsidian. Weirdly, I'm playing two Obsidian games concurrently on uh, the channel. This and Pillars of Eternity. Both um, lead uh, lead designer is Josh Josh Sawyer. Uh, let's talk about the, or what do you do around I here? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good, and I can always find a buyer She's for the hides. She's a heights. gecko hunter. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in Good Springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. Yeah, you're telling me. Whew. You should have seen it, Sonny. Uh, let's talk about the areas around Good Springs. Sure. What do you want to know? Um, what about the towns? Southeast of here is Prim. Look at this. Can't miss map it. Markers. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town, the NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Yeah, maybe if we were playing uneasy, we could do it, but right now I don't think so. Not unless we found some, like, a shitload of ammo for our grenade launcher or a fat man with a shitload of ammo. Uh, NCR? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Hmm. God, I love that. I love the ambiguity there. I fucking love that so much. Um, what does the NCR keep you safe from? Well, the wildlife for one thing. Rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. Um, uh, what do you know about the other group? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves, and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. Yeah. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Uh, what kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Right. Stick to Super the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. I want to say there is like a gecko Godzilla beast or something like that. Uh, that's all I wanted to know. Let's talk about something else. If you want to know anything else, just ask. I don't believe I ever did fight or kill uh, Godzilla gecko. Uh, I'm going to need help. Uh, I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gangers. Might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that Ooh. we had a good plan to win the fight oh, would also help. Right. Uh, <laughs> would, would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Damn you, Chet. What about Easy Pete? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. So, the funny thing about Easy Pete is, if you convince him, there's a good chance that people are still going to get himsel get themselves killed with uh, his dynamite. Because it equips, it like, I think all the people who come to help with dynamite, and there's a good chance that they just blow themselves the fuck up. I'll be waiting. So, we're intentionally going to avoid talking to Easy Pete. Hey. And that's why that's why I wanted to clear out all of her dialogue in case she dies in the fighting. Because if they die, I'm not going to reload. We're just going to try and plan ahead. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Oh shit, our shit isn't good enough. Um, hmm. Yeah, hang on here, Trudy. Hang on. Let's see, sneak. 
Be careful out there. For speech, both to 25. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, do, 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 do. do we have anything that gives charisma? Speech, there we go. And let's see, that should put our speech at 15, and then we can read a book. Let's see, where was it? Speaking something or the other, what, what was it called? Meeting people, there we go. Nice, 25. Feeling thirsty? I can take- Alright, speech. You should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Um, and we can't do the sneak one anymore. All right. But it gets us 25 extra. Be careful speed. out there. I just realized she has a revolver in here. And this. Is that a special one? What happens if we take her revolver? Do you think we can steal it right in front of her? Nah, it's because of this fucking guy. <laughs> Sorry, Trudy! You know, I fixed your radio, uh... You don't don't worry about it, Trudy. Sorry, ma'am. I'm uh I'm just having a look around here. <laughs> Let's quick save and see if we can't. Can we? <laughs> oh. Nice. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got two of them now. I didn't even forgot that we found the other one in the grave. Sorry, Trudy. I just used a revolver to repair mine. It's not really a good way to spend it, but it's a cold, cruel wasteland out there. Howdy. We gotta got, we got swap that off. <laughs> All right. What have we got here? Uh, anything? Uh, anything worth looking at here? Bathrooms? Nah. Okay. Let's head on out to Chet. I think we can convince Chet on our own. Look, it's old Easy Pete. Alright. Chet, what's going on, man? We also should probably try and sell him some shit, shouldn't we? Let's see, how are we looking? We're looking alright. Um, let's put some armor on, though. Is it cheating that I'm using this? I don't know. It is a bit of an unfair advantage. We'll sell, um... We'll sell the lightweight metal and the, uh... This tribal raiding armor. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah. Um... What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Alright, but what happens when trouble finds you, Chet? Uh, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Barter 25, baby. Let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And, uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Oh, yeah. Absolutely understand. You son of a butt. Can do. Alright. Uh, let's see here. It's about the same DT. Actually, the lightweight might be better DT. Or damage threshold. Can I call it DT? Is that okay? Alright, let's see. Do you sell a, a cowboy hat or anything? A pre-war hat? Are we wearing a pre-war? Yeah, we are. Hmm. Let's see. Do you have anything else that we could maybe take off your hands? Doctor's bag. Could get a long barrel. Increased damage. Do you have um, ammo for uh, 357? No. Doesn't look like it, huh? Oh, here we go. 
Hmm. Let's buy it. All right. Yeah, I'm checking to see if uh, if he swapped out any other items. Would be nice to have a silenced pistol, but we can get one later. All right. Let's make sure we don't have any other things we can sell here, like cigarettes. Any aid we should get rid of? All this food might be handy to hold on to. Worst comes to worst, we just drop it out in the middle of nowhere. All right. Thanks. Uh-huh. Thank you, Chet. Take it easy now. I think he just gave us that armor and we just sold it back to him. Damn. Making deals left and right. All right. Um, let's see. Who else is left? Mitchell, right? We could check these houses. Yeah, we definitely should. We were talking about it last time. Should definitely at least check them out. All right. Doc Mitchell, I'm back. I need more stuff. I already robbed you fucking blind, but uh I'm look I'm I'm back looking for another handout, man. <laughs> oh god. Old Doc Mitchell, what a good guy. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? You wouldn't believe it. I got shot in the head again. <laughs> um Oh. Who was it that rescued me? That would be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Alright. Uh, the town's going to be attacked by bandits! Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other. You alone. might say the war never changes, well, I'm not Doc. Not much good in a fight with my bum leg, and my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. All right. Um. Do you know anything about the man who shot me? I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. How could we be forget to ask Doc Mitchell about this shit? Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. And... What town is this? So this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Um, tell me about yourself. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. Um. You said before you had something taken from you. Was it his wife? Well, ain't we all, right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Hmm. It was probably his wife. Um. What else can you tell me about well, this? Well, there's a general store just up the road run by a fella named Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. All right. Thanks, Doc. You take care now. All right, good guy. Got us all hooked up, connected. We got the connections. We could talk to Pete. Uh, no. We'll just look through the rest of the houses here instead. I really don't want to risk Pete's bombs going off like crazy. That would be pretty bad. It's happened before, is what I'll say. It's happened before. Pretty sure some of these houses have good stuff in them. Like, really good stuff. 
I mean, we've already found that one house that had, uh, real nice stuff, huh? Uh, red roaches do... Nah. Oh, they're cooking a teddy bear. Ugh, jeez. And some 9mm. Oh, what happens when you cook together a teddy bear in 9mm rounds? What do you get? Bullet Bear! The new hit super... It's Stan Lee here, with a new superhero. This time, it's Bullet Bear! <laughs> Alright. Ooh, got some corn in there. You got corn in a pot, but you're cooking bullet bears. Jeez! Oh, God. Just big enough to take a poop in and get your booty tickled a little bit. Oh, look, they got a mag in here. You like how I'm calling them mags? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it myself. <laughs> Found ourselves a mag! Oh, I got some money in here. Definitely want that. All about that. Oh, gosh, this. Gosh, I'm, I'm still not used to listening for it. Can we, like, turn it down even lower? I already turned it down pretty low. Here, what happens if we do this? There we are. That'll be good enough, huh? Ooh, speech five. We definitely want to hold on to that. Oh, we can't pick it. Oh, look, a briefcase. A hidden briefcase with the baseball in it. What the fuck? Let's see, what's our current uh, skill at? Can we amp it up? Lockpick is at 41. Yeah, we totally can. Um, locksmith's reader. There we go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Man, this is the good shit. Should we take some? Yeah, let's take some whiskey. Whiskey River, something, something, Willie Nelson. Alright. Oh, another hat. I guess we could repair our hat. Oh, wow, I almost missed it. Reading glasses. Nice, let's get the glasses going. Uh, let's see. There we go. I just like to wear them. Do we look nice? Do we look good? Oh, God, we're wearing a fucking fedora. Alright. Is that everything? What, what the hell is this? Oh, part of a ham radio. Okay. Um, that's the school down there. There's like a fucking love shack down here. A love shack baby. That's where it's at. Love shack. Let's see what they got. Some dumped sarsaparillas here. Just trying to look at and see if there were any. Oh, it's Victor! Oh, I almost didn't notice him there. Howdy, hey, Victor. Partner. Howdy, Maybe partner. he'll help. Uh, are you any decent in a fight? I could use more firepower if you have any. Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Holy shit, I didn't know that you could enlist Victor's help. Oh my god, all my. I've played through this game like three or four times, and I watched my girlfriend play through it once. And I never fucking even... It never occurred to me to get Victor to help. Holy Happy shit. Trails. Oh my god, what a fucking stroke of genius. Obsidian has done it again! <laughs> Alright. Anything else good here? Can we check in Victor's chat? Shat. His <laughs> shack. Maybe it's just like a whole bunch of corpses in here. Victor's fucked up doomsday shack. Oh god. <gasps> oh. Is this off? It was not off, but... Oh god, this music has like a... Uh... Yeah. It's from um, either Fallout 1 or 2, but... God, it's so annoying because of the... Uh... The fucking siren in it. Drives me nuts. All right. Don't tell Victor that we're in here taking all of his shit. Um, here we should actually equip our. I can repair this up. I love how the repair system works in these games. Uh, Fallout Three and, and and New Vegas. There we go. Nice. We're a real cowboy now. 
Energy cells. What else have we got? Anything else good? No, oven's empty. Uh, let's take the scrap metal. Why not? Like I said, I can't remember if we need it or not. Anything hidden in here? No. Okay. That ought to do it. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Howdy there, Victor. I wasn't going to look at Victor. I was, I was turning around to look at the flag. Because, you know, the um, the flag in Fallout is... Uh, it doesn't have the correct amount of stars. I forget what the reasoning is. But, like, there's there's fewer states or something like that? I can't, I can't remember. Ooh. Star bottle cap. Nice. This one's empty as well. Er, full, I should say. The, the one next to it is empty. Alright, a Merc Grunt outfit? Nah, melee and guns, not interested. That's empty. This one not. Alright, nice. Oh, a single shotgun. 20 gauge. I think there's someone in here. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I've just wandered into your house and started taking shit. Oh look, a Chinese uh, army... Chinese Army, Spec Ops, Training Manual. That's good. We're not going to use that yet, though. I'm pretty sure that's, um... That's one of the skill books. It's not a magazine. Yeah, it's a skill book. They weigh shit, but, uh, we can't read them yet. We gotta hold off until we get a good perk. What the fuck? I thought there was someone in here. Hello? Oh, God! Hey there. Hey! Thank oh, you. It's, oh, it's the lady we saved, and now we're... We're robbing her. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look, she's growing some cactuses. Some prickly pears or something. Ugh, pears. The worst fruit. Would you not agree that pears are, like, the most deceptively worst fruit? They're like apples that have gone bad. Pears are just, like, bottom tier in terms of fruit. Man, look at this. We're getting so many mags! Alright, what's in here? Anything good? Oh, shit. Oh, it's a BB gun. Okay. Oh, look, we can just take this stuff. This isn't even, uh, gonna give us a wanted level, or wanted level. Bad karma. Pencil. Empty sarsaparilla. What's that? Oh, no, that's part of a texture. I'm not used to the, uh, the new textures yet. Uh, fresh pear. Ugh, speak of the fucking devil. I mean, we have to take it now, don't we? We just... Fuck, we're gonna take all the pears that we see now. We're going to rid the wasteland of pears. Holy shit. Like, unless it's a pear-shaped woman, in which case... Va-va-voom, baby! <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. We can poke around inside of this trailer. Oh, there's absolutely nothing inside. What about this? Eh. Alright. I think we're about right. Oh, stash toolbox. Look at this. It's a secret stash. Not much work. What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Hey. Joe Cobb! What the fuck? Joe Cobb is out here! I didn't know Joe Cobb was out here! What do you want? What was that you said about Ringo? What's been going on in the rest of the wasteland? Yeah, let's ask about the rest of the wasteland. Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Um, do you know anything about Hoover Dam? Never been there since I've the never NCR fucking has got talked to Joe all over it. Must be pretty important. God, I had no idea that he waited here in town. I did not fucking know that. Um, what do you know about the Legion? I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing, but I'll be staying out of their way. Tell me about the NCR. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. Damn. They've got troops Joe all Cobb over the Mojave, but it's a big <laughs> desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Um, uh, what was that you said about Ringo? 
He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Um, what if I... Let's say I help you take over this town. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. What a fucking asshole. What were you in prison for? None of your damn business. You ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Jeez. Yeah. Let's, um... I want to ask a man that kind of question. Let's see here. Um... If we put on our grimy bullshit and we drink some booze, I think we can actually ask him. Let's see here. Did that get us up high enough? I think so. What do you want now? Um, what were you in prison for? None of you. There we go. I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. Rob some people. Burn some things. Killed a few guys. Ooh, what a, what a scary guy. Yeah. What happens if I just, like, kill Joe Cobb right here, right now? Fucking Joe Cobb. Can I kill him? No, I don't have a way to kill him, do I? I was trying to see if I had, like, a explosive that I could just reverse pickpocket into him. Fucking Joe Cobb. Actually, we might be able to pick up some, uh, explosives somewhere around here. Where's, um, where's Easy Pete's house? Is this it? Does he live here? I know he's got, like, um, he's got explosives in his house. The maniac. Or is this, um, is this that lady's house who we robbed? I think it's hers. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, I, fuck, I don't know where Joe, uh, not Joe. Um, Easy Pete lives. Completely forgot. I think we checked them all. Maybe he shares a house with that lady. I don't know. Oh well. We'll we'll kill him in a fair fight, huh? We'll kill him in a fair fight. Anything good here? Any like hidden chests? Hidden loot? No. All right. We're ready, I suppose. We're ready as we'll ever be. Head on over here. And get old Ringo raring to go. Use our sweet new uh, six-shooter. Blast Joe Cobb and his affiliates. Poseidon Energy. No, uh, no red rockets out this way, huh? On the western coast? Alright. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Yep, she's with us along with, uh, like half the town. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Um... Nah, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Alright, I'm ready. I hope. Mm. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Um, where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. No, oh, they look mean. Uh-oh. <laughs> we better be careful. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. All right. Quick saving and we're ready. Oh, man. Pistols at sundown. Look, the whole town's running out with their guns out. Sun's out, guns out. Well, I guess the sun's going down. <laughs> it doesn't work too well. All right, you sons of bitches. Shit, it didn't take. It didn't take. Come on. Holy hell. Ah! Oh my god. What? These guys are nuts. Is that where they close? Oh shit, I'm wearing my fucking business clothes! Holy shit, we gotta swap into the, the armor. My god, no wonder I was taking so much damage. I forgot I was still in my talkie talks. 
Here, let's um, let's get out the old shotgun. Gun down this guy is running right at us like a dingus. Nice, that works well. What have you done? Fuck you, Joe! Don't kill Trudy! Oh! Nice! Fucking naked cowboy, get out of here! What the hell are you doing naked? Good lord. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just got reload. Just got reload. All right, there we go. Look, he's trying to shoot me with his finger guns. Oh, I'm vilified with the powder gangers. For your overwhelmingly monstrous behavior, you have become vilified by the community. Uh-oh. Oh, idolize with Good Springs. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are now I you are idolized by the community. Oh. Man, good thing that idiot just let me reload right in front of him. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Um, didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. All right. Let's see. Did anyone die? Did any good folks die? Fucking hope not. Damn, look at Trudy, looking hot as hell. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Um, sure, Trudy. Be careful out there. All right. Jeez, look at their fucking guts all over the place. Ooh, a baseball bat. The best melee weapon. It's my, uh, go-to melee weapon if I have to have one. All right. Where's that naked guy? Yeah, here he is. Is this the cowboy hat guy? I want his hat. Oh, yeah. Dynamite, too. Single shotgun, whole bunch of shit. Let's pop on his hat. Uh, Desperado Cowboy Hat. How do we look? Ha! Huh, we look like a dingus. We look great, though. Like a fucking glorious dingus, don't we? My god. Hmm. We don't really need the glasses on. Do we look better with them off? Oh, we might do. We might. Can wait until we get, like, uh, goggles or some shit. Something like that. Look at this guy, he had on his little red hat. Oh. Alright, who else? Got folks up here who need looting. The wine. Oops. Probably ought to take one of their outfits, shouldn't we? Here. Powder ganger simple. No, it's still three weight. I guess we'll take a three-way one. Save it for later. Okay. Get some repairs going on. There we go. Single shotguns. Repair the crap out of them. Um. Yeah. Man, we almost had a real bad accident with, uh... Not... With going out there with our shit... With our pants down. Uh, let's see here. Oh, he had a single shotgun as well. Well, I didn't even notice. Wait, his outfit... How much did it weigh? Still three, okay. And what about this dude way out here? Did we ever loot him? Look at his fucking socks. <laughs> Alright. Repair up. Whew. Alright. Let's... Let's see, do we have anything else that we need to do? Should we check in with everybody? They went that away. Yeah, these are all, um... DLC. Okay. 
Let's see, let's check in with Sunny. Did she make it? I can't remember if Sunny has anything uh, to say. Hey. Oh, geez, where is everybody? Oh, they're probably asleep here. Let's wait. Uh, yeah, one more hour just to be safe. That way they'll they should be here around that that time, huh? Jeez, it goes pretty slow relative to uh the speed at which Morrowind's goes runs through. Um no Sunny isn't here. Uh oh. Did Sunny die? Hey there. We need more people like you around. Oh thanks, man. Hello there. It's good to see a oh. friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Why were you following me? I haven't really gone anywhere. I've just been in the fucking tents. This guy's for the, the star caps. The, uh, Sarsaparilla star caps. He's the one who tells you about, like, you can collect them all. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. It's just weird because <laughs> I found the one, I found one here in, in Good Springs. I haven't really gone anywhere else. Uh, what's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there, it's a fabulous treasure from before the war. Ooh. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Uh, so where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Uh, you mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Oh yeah, we'll meet Festus. <laughs> so you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so Why the fuck does he have two pairs of, of goggles? Does he really need that? strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Uh, what kind of treasure are we talking about? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value. And that's enough to get people motivated. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. My stars? All right. Look, he's got little uh, forks and stuff on him. Let's see. He's got fucking six of them on him. Can we? That doesn't belong oh. to you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Here. I think we got a little something, something that's gonna help with this, huh? Ah, yeah. That's what we need. All right. All right, townsfolk, look the other way. You're not gonna like what you're gonna see if you look this way. All right. Here we go. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Ooh, should we, should we risk it for the bit? You can't just take shit. That. He took it all. Okay, okay, okay. I won't get greedy this time. I, I won't get third time's a charm, right? All right, come on, come on. Let's see here, and stealth boy. I mean, fuck. I'm really no, no. If after the third time of save scumming it, it fucks up, we, we have to keep it. We have to keep the results. All right. Well, when next we come back, we will be heading 
that away over to Prim. But we'll find a few little uh, places along the way. Um, there's like a shack full of electronics that we may raid. There's like, um, there's a little, well, there, there's a, there's a little side quest out there as well. <laughs> That's uh, always fun to do. Anyway, when next we come back, we'll be heading out to Prim. Peace. Peace.